Okay, uh, greetings, salutations, and all of that good stuff. I am Celestial Saturn, and this is Lover Watch Love Never Dies. Because somehow, every time I want to play an action game, a ridiculous looking sim game comes out, and I just have to play it. Uh,. Uh, let me fix something real quick. Yeah, that's going to be as good as I can do this. But, uh... Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But we'll, we'll start a new game. What is it with all these big names doing this now? Be official but non-canon overwatch 2 dating sim except no substitutes unless they're like really good are you ready to play this thing first tell me what non-canon means we all know what non-canon means so just let me play as much as kyle ban kyle banker should come back we're just gonna go with Saturn. Your name is Saturn. Continue. Yes, I'm ready to set the scene. Hold on. Ah, uh, nope, can't do anything like that. Continue. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. Sometimes that people is you. It's particularly dark tonight, so dark that'll make for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who's sitting at the table in the corner. Screw the table in the corner. I want some of these drinks. The drinks look good. Eyes adjusting. Am I a robot? Adjusting. Very much so. Adjusting. Oh my. Oh my. Is that... Is that who you think it is? It's Mercy. It's Genji. Why are there only two options? Why are there only two options? What if I wanted to see, just as a thoroughly random example, Junkrat? Whoa, face yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. Two options are plenty for now, and maybe we'll add more dating some opportunities in the future. We're not saying this is some kind of test version of a potentially more robust dating adventure. You liars. But we are also not saying that. Now, who do you see in the corner? It's gonna be Mercy. Oh, her hair is even shorter now. Very cute. Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. All I'm noticing from all these dating sim games that I've played is I have a type, and I never really deviate that far from them. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there, and you're completely... Starstruck, lovestruck, painstruck. Uh, oh my god, celebrity. Starstruck. You're amazed she can be seen in public without hordes of DPS players begging for healing. There's a whole behind song about that too. It's just like them to be nowhere near their healer though, huh? You'd love to get an autograph. And maybe a handshake. And maybe she'll even say your name. I 
I don't play Overwatch, so I don't know who you are, but this is... Why are you Cupid? Hark! Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and the smell of the sweat on your palms? I am Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. And this is where I turn around and leave. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this. Or are you hallucinating? I need a drink. And I need one now. Do not worry, you're the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing, but maybe this hallucination can help you. Now tell me, are you in love? Aha. Um. You're not Cupid, man. Hold up, you're not Cupid. You're Hanzo Shimada. Uh, from the free-to-play game Overwatch 2. Ah, the shameless branding. The shameless brand plug. Shameless. Which I have, of course, played because I just recognized you as Hanzo Shimada. No, I didn't. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured, I am Cupid, champion of love. However, it is Entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. Shameless. What a coincidence. Don't do that pose. Don't do that pose at all. I like your tattoo, but don't do that pose. Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? Nope. Baseline anxiety. Anxiety and affections can sometimes feel similar, but fear not. I am here to guide you through all of love's intricacies. So do you wish to win the heart of mercy? Sure. Because I'm just going to keep going round about if I keep doing other stuff. Yes, I want to win the heart of mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about mercy? Not a goddamn thing. Wait, is he actually setting up a trivia quiz here? I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, can I, look, can I check the wiki first? You cannot. Now. What is Mercy's real name? Wow, you make this really, really easy. Angela Zeigler? Incorrect. It's Dr. Angela Zeigler. Well, I'm sorry, you didn't put her profession in front of her name. How would I have known that she needed the profession in front of her name? Do not get mad at me. Get mad at the choices you left me. Okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. Stop that. What's her favorite food? Chocolate or the tears of careless DPS heroes? Chocolate? Close, but not quite. She loves Swiss chocolate. How about I give you a Swift kicking your ass? Yeah, there wasn't an option for Swiss chocolate. Shame. Now next question. What is Dr. Zeigler's field of research?
Yeah, this is rigged. There's no right answer. I know she's a pioneer in biotic technology, which is a field in applied nanobiology, and she even got her MD and PhD in Switzerland at a ridiculously young age. She also became head of surgery at a prominent Swiss hospital. Again, a at a ridiculously young age. If you're so knowledgeable, illuminate me then. What would impress such a highly accomplished woman? Can I just say hi? You can, with this mic. He hands you the mic, the mic they use for open mic night at the Laugh Attic. I hate this. I really hate this. The spotlight illuminates you. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Yeah, go. Quick, pee your pants and run out. Uh, hi. Everyone turns to you. Mercy sits comfortably back in her chair, expectant. She's waiting. I said hi already. The crowd clears their throats. Chairs squeak. She's waiting for a joke because this is a comedy club where you make jokes. Okay, here goes nothing. Mercy, you want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? Nah. You put the mic back and sit down. You should have known. Only space gorilla scientists could pull off that joke. Mercy stands and heads over to you. Okay, the heartbeat. Why is she coming over? Was your joke that bad? It wasn't even your joke, though. But yeah, the Na sodium makes sense. Maybe she'll scold you for plagiarizing. Hello. Hi there. You prepare yourself. Maybe she'll shoot you with her Candace blaster for such a bad joke. You deserve it. I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry for stealing the punchline from you. That was quite rude of me. Oh no, it's fine, really. She's apologizing for your bad joke. Truly an angel. My friend Winston makes that joke all the time. The other agents and I say one day, we are gone to bury him. Okay, that was a good one. You could laugh or you could continue just blinking like at her like a cow chewing is cud. Smart and funny? OP. Mobility and overpowered are not the same thing. Writer's note, Mercy is not meta at the time of writing this. Please be merciful if she is by the time this sim, this sim releases. That was supposed to be a compliment. I know, I'm just tired of being admired. Tired of love, uninspired. Was that a reference? Yes, I'm surprised it made past revisions. I'm surprised this dating sim even exists. Same here. Very much same here. Indeed, that too. Speaking of dating sims, we should probably proceed to the next date. I was thinking of something fun, like dinner at a fancy restaurant. I'd love to join you. Shh. She made the first move. Hell yeah. Mercy smiles. I could die happy right now and she would just resurrect you back. Fantastic, I'll meet you at Cafe Azur at Circuit Royale. And she walks, no, floats away. You can't believe it. You're gonna have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at, wait a minute, Circuit Royale? That's not a midtown. 
if you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? Not that good. Room for improvement. Concentrate less on your discomfort and more on heart. The first day is finished, but the journey ahead is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. At least I do maybe five seconds before, like, through transitions, because that is a little slow. And I missed dialogue because of my own impatience. Maybe she's running fashionably late, so it means just Mercy is not here yet. Most likely she's probably having to go heal people, so... Let's be patient. Three minutes and 57 seconds. Oh, three minutes, four minutes late. I am a needy creature. Four minutes and 19, she must hate you. Are you going to eat the breadsticks or just let them sit there? I am so sorry. She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working on a new dissertation. I wasn't keeping track at the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Happens to the best of us, man. You're only like five minutes late. If it was about 15, then I would be concerned. Like five to 10 minutes late? Not that big of a concern. Well handled. Really? Shouldn't I be honest and tell her I almost had a meltdown? Consider saving that for the dessert code, of course. Mercy smiles and sits down. Have you ordered yet? This place does have fabulous beignets de fleurs. Do you forget? Fried zucchini flowers. Okay, thank you, because I, I, I did not know what that was. You take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. No. Only if I'm alone. No, I'll I'll go with this. The bircher muesli, because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. And this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. There's an Overwatch cookbook? Do you like Bershire muesli as well? Because I also love it. It's the best breakfast. Yes, it is, although we're having dinner. I don't let society's expectations di dictate my preferences. Me either. The bowl of muesli arrives, clusters of bright happy berries, and a trail of green on the brown nuts, and seeds on a bed of white mush. I'm pretty sure it, I would not really like the taste of it, but it looks appetizing. Size falls as you two eat. That awkward bit of during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat, or talk while eating, and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Keep it groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. I don't know anything about her. Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. Do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and machine learning? Actually, a little bit. Of course, I read scientific journals for fun in my spare time. Which I actually do. You do? You do? Yeah. Wonderful, I've been working on optimizing the resolution for imaging deep tissues to the sub sub cellular cell in real time. Reaching this level requires better contrast, improved electron microscopy, better samples, and better convex optimization. 
algorithms for evaluating complex loss functions to digest a massive amount of visual information. We're still not close to computing a universal modular atlas because of the massive amount of computing power that we would need to calculate angular orientation of cellular protein complexes. I am now using a lot of big words that are frankly extremely scary now and while you're realizing now I'm one of those once in a lifetime geniuses and I bet you're hoping that Cupid says something to bail you out of here. No, I am very interested. How exactly would you even be able to see cells on a sub on a sub molecular scale like that? I mean, it's still like 3D imaging in a way, but we are still able to see like at least like proteins and such going through in and out of cells. I am I actually want to know more. I actually do want to know more. I could change the subject to something you can easily understand. No, I want to hear this. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. Solid. Non canonically, of course. Like non canonical healing crystals. My favorite is the rose quartz. I mean, most common, most white girl summery type of crystal. But I agree, it is a very beautiful crystal. And my crow brain would say I keep shiny, and shiny is mine, and you can't have shiny, so I understand. It represents love, healing, and compassion. Uh, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right! You high five Cupid. Mercy looks at you concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. My godly knowledge and love does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old Latimus dorsi. Anyways. What does being a hero feel like? You know, no one believes me when I say it's not that great as people think. Yeah, I bet it isn't. That... I bet it sucks, to be honest. The world saw me as Mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect, but I'm also just Angela Zeigler, and I'm not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being Mercy. If the world needs her, then I will be there, but I wish, I wish they would also welcome Angela. Fair enough. Wow, yeah, fair enough. I need you, Angela. She chokes on her sip of water. Other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her gauche behavior. You discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering, I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela try to save the world? I mean, yeah, she needs to be needed as herself, not as this glorified deity-like persona that she ended up creating sometimes you just need someone to say that they need you as you so i get it i i get it cairo egypt i literally can't miss it unless i stop here she beams at you and soars away leaving a lingering scent of perfection well perfect to you Well, one way or another, that date is complete. Thanks so much. How did our night go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness, you will lose her heart now. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to repair, as since this one will be the most important of all. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and go 
completely through this because why the heck not? This is, would be the third date? Technically this is the first, what's going on? Okay. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat as she tends to patients. You help as much as you can. Altruism. Hallways mopped. Paperwork filed and sorted. Supplies stocked. Why is it that every time this is literally stuff I would have done in my real life? You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters, you straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee and smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. You shut up and you drink what you are given. Her genius does not extend to her baristatorial arts, if such a thing exists. Smells like someone tortured the coffee bees. I'm drinking it. Screw you. You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. Oh, you're about to bounce off the walls, my guy, if it's strong. Do you like it? It's just what the doctor ordered. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. If I was there and someone told me that, I would be riding that high for the next two weeks. She leaves. Her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. Yeah, back to volunteering. You head back to the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your teeth. You're quite the brave one. You recognize that quiet, wry voice. You turn around and it's... Da -da -da -da. Anna? Yep. No one's experienced Angel's coffee and come out smiling at the other end. Anna, the Anna Amari, the legendary sniper, original Overwatch squad, uh, Overwatch Strike Squad member, the bane of most of your matches. What is she doing here? Oh, she's the little devil on your shoulder. Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Well, considering the eye of Horus that she's doing right there, she's Egyptian and she probably lives around here. Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who is this? This is Saturn, my... She blushes. She blushes pink mercy. Wait, did her whole outfit blush? Hmm. Oh, I'm going to screw this up either way. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm going in. Date. I'm Angela's date. Angela, Anna's eyes pin mercy in place. Dr. Angela Zeiger, are you blushing absolutely not it's extremely hot here hm. her gaze pierces you you know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals and their final moments i've always told faria to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up i'm glad you found someone like that angela it was nice meeting you saturn she leaves. Angela clears her throat and voice eye contact with you. Um, 
I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. Well done, you've impressed Anna Amari. What the heck are you? Yeah, where? Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is you impressed a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your date, your faith with Dr. Zeigler. And speaking of faith, are you ready to see how your journey ends? Yeah, I'm confident. Let's do this. We will see. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Follow Mercy. Angela leads you to the top floor of the planet, where there's a rooftop terrace with a stunning view of Cairo. Wow. Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often after a long shift. You both take in the view of the city, the Nile sparkling orange from the setting sun, and the high-rise apartments and freeways gathered around the shores. So what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am instead of judgment or expectations. You gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world makes me want to believe in it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above as I do. In all its beauty. Except the love, man. I would go anywhere with you. The Valkyrie wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. Okay, I like the Valkyrie outfit. That's, that's kind of awesome. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. Okay. You have embarked on a journey of love and found what you desire in the end. Love takes many forms, but it's always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. I love your heels. Return to main menu to claim. What my reward? Mercy's angel. Valentine card 13, card front 7. Okay. So that was Lover Watch. Love never dies. Uh, pretty standard for, for what usually happens in dating sims, so I can't really fault it for that. But we're pretty decent pretty decent if they do make this into like a full-fledged game where you do have like to pick and choose which uh hero you want to woo i guess uh it'll work it'll work pretty good and i kind of like some of the fourth wall breaking but uh if you want to if you want to play this yourself i'll i'll leave a link in the in the description for you guys it's overwatch is not my cup of tea but i know it's oh some people's cup of tea so they probably would appreciate it a lot more than i do but i'm rambling i'm just gonna go ahead and say it like comment subscribe do what you need to do for everything and i'll see you in the next video have a great valentine's day bye guys